Valve's anti-cheat, or VAC. If you're part of a community for one of Valve's multiplayer games, you've heard of it, and your thoughts on it might vary. However, some of you know it to a basic degree and have questions on it. Well, today, I'm covering Valve's anti-cheat. In 2001, an anti-cheat by the name Punk Buster, developed by Even Balance Inc., had stopped supporting Counter-Strike and Half-Life, mainly due to Valve providing no support. Valve didn't really state the reason for this, however, Valve's Eric Smith in 2001 said that Valve were working to implement a long-term solution, and coding for that had already begun meaning Valve weren't looking for a third-party solution, let alone a quick solution. This long-term solution was the Valve Anti-Cheat System, or VAC, and it was eventually shown off in 2002 with Counter-Strike. At first, the Anti-Cheat banned players for 24 hours, with longer bans taking place as time went on and as Valve got more comfortable with the system. Then in 2005, Valve announced the development for VAC 2 with a following announcement in late March announcing VAC 2's beta testing would start around early April of 2005. VAC 2 did prove to be effective since in November of 2006, Valve announced that the VAC system had caught 10,000 cheaters in one week. Furthermore, more information on VAC's anti-cheat system was given via emails from Valve and members of Valve's Half-Life Mapping Community discussion. Information like VAC being able to detect versions of OGC's OpenGL hack, also being able to detect OpenGL cheats, and detect CD key changers as cheats, and how it was able to detect RAM and hardware errors. However, it wouldn't ban the player for an error, at least if it was a hardware one, and it would only kick them off a server. However, even with these features and probably more, VAC hasn't always been 100% accurate. In 2010, about 12,000 owners of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 were incorrectly banned by the VAC system, forcing Valve to revoke these bans and give free copies of Left 4 Dead 2, or a giftable copy to anyone who already had the game. Additionally, VAC had criticisms and rumors. One rumor started in 2014 was about the VAC system reading website domains that players had access. This rumor was proven false by CEO and co-founder of Valve, Gabe Newell, on Reddit. As for the criticisms, the VAC system has been heavily criticized by the Team Fortress 2 community. It's been criticized for failing to detect Lamal box hacks, and additionally, VAC being very weak in dealing with a major bot crisis in early 2020. However, the VAC system is consistently worked on by Valve, and has been improved many times. In 2016, Valve added Lamalbox hacks to VAX detection list. And additionally, in 2016, if an account was banned and had any other accounts that shared a connected phone number, the other accounts would be banned as well. Then in 2017, Valve made it public that they had plans to introduce machine learning to VAC to try and detect cheats in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And in 2018, covered more about the topic at a game developers conference and announced the name of this program, VACnet. Valve's anti-cheat system is very well designed, however, no one really knows how it's designed outside of Valve. This is on purpose, however, to avoid cheaters and hackers from making code to counter VAC. However, we do know some things about the system. First off, the system sends client challenges to a player's machine. If the appropriate response is not received, it is flagged as a possible violation. Furthermore, it scans for cheats while scanning a PC's memory and processes. When something is detected, a report is made and is compared to a database of banned applications or is inspected by Valve engineers. If it is a new cheat, it will be added to a database of cheats. The VAC system also allows reports to be given, although bans aren't based solely on reports. But if a cheat is found, the associated Steam account will be flagged as cheating and over a period of time will get banned. Usually, bans can take days, weeks, or even months to happen. But when they happen, normally they are done with a large amount of flag accounts being banned. 
in what is normally referred to as back waves. When a Steam user is banned, their Steam profile will also have a mark that states multiple bans on record, which is always visible and cannot be hidden by the user. And that's a brief summary of the VAC anti-cheat system.